What's up, everyone? I'm Jacob. Have you ever been stuck inside your home? Maybe because of bad weather or because of a lockdown? Or how about this? Have you ever been stuck inside your home and then the power goes out? No TV, no internet. It's a nightmare. But it doesn't have to be all that bad. You can figure out something to do like a jigsaw puzzle. You see, puzzles can help us understand hope. Hope is believing that something good can come out of something bad. Now, usually a jigsaw puzzle comes in a box with a picture of the finished puzzle. This one, however, came in a bag. Guess I'll have to wait until I'm done to see what I'm working on. Let's see. It looks like an eye. So the final picture will have a creature of some kind, maybe a bunny rabbit, boing, boing, or a squirrel. I'm a squirrel. Or maybe it's not any kind of animal I'm, I've ever seen before, like a hairy monster that has like eight legs and six eyes and is super furry. You know, it's hard to tell what the full picture will be when I'm only looking at one piece. Now the one piece looks like it's looking at me. Stop looking at me. In today's story, we'll hear about a group of people who expected something to happen, but they only saw one piece of the puzzle. 
I see you. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story. Inspired by the book of John, chapter 12, verses 9 through 16. When Jesus raised his friend Lazarus from the dead, news spread quickly. Many people believed in Jesus, and the religious leaders flew into a rage. If we let Jesus keep doing this, everyone will believe in him. He'll cause so much trouble, the Romans will come in and take over. Mm. So, it's decided. We will remove him. <laughs> uh, please note the air quotes. For a time, Jesus went away to the village of Ephraim. As the Passover feast neared, the people of Jerusalem began to look for him. Isn't he coming to the feast? He'd be a fool. The Pharisees have given orders to arrest him. Jesus wasn't threatened by the religious leaders. He was following the plan that God had set in motion long before. And with his disciples, Jesus returned to the town of Bethany. From there, he made plans to enter Jerusalem. He told two of his friends. Go to the village ahead of you. As soon as you get there, you will find a donkey tied up. Her colt will be with her. Village, check. Donkey, check. Colt, check. Untie them and bring them to me. Untie... Wait, what? We can't just go taking someone's donkeys. Anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs them. The Lord needs them. Check. And the owner will send the donkeys right away. We're on it. The disciples had entered the town, just as Jesus had instructed them. Well, there they are. And now we will just calmly untie them like we walk off every day with donkeys that don't belong to us. <laughs> no biggie. Hey! Those are my donkeys. Uh, um, I, the Lord needs them. Oh. oh. Well, in that case, just remember the big one kicks real bad. And she likes figs. Jesus' friends brought the donkey to him and laid their coats across the coat's back. Jesus to sit on. He's walked a gazillion miles. Why does he want to ride a donkey now? Jesus wasn't too tired to walk. He was carrying out the plan that God had set in motion long before. Hundreds of years earlier, the prophet Zechariah had written, Say to the city of Zion, See, your king comes to you. He is gentle and riding on a donkey. Now Jesus was showing everyone that he was the king that God had promised. As he rode towards Jerusalem, excitement rippled through the crowds of travelers. They threw their coats down on the ground, making a path for him. Others broke large branches off of nearby palm trees, laying them across the road or waving them high. Hosanna! Oh, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord! Some people ran ahead of Jesus as others streamed behind in a joyful, glorious parade. As the procession neared the city, people ran out to see what was happening. Who is this? This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth. Yeah, he brought Lazarus back from the dead. In all the excitement, though, one group of people was not pleased, the religious leaders. This isn't getting us anywhere. Look how the whole world is following him. Don't worry, I've got a plan. A plan? To remove Jesus. Oh, right. The air quote. <laughs> he won't last the week. But God was still at work, and nothing that anyone could do would stop God's plan to save the world. Oh, nice. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. So anyway, many people believed Jesus was the Messiah, the Savior who came to rescue them, and they were right but they thought that meant that Jesus was going to take over right then and take over as their king. And they were about to be very disappointed. But here's the thing about disappointment. We're disappointed when things don't go how we want or expect. 
we're disappointed when we don't get our way. <laughs> but you've got to remember, when it comes to life, we can only see one piece of the puzzle. We only see that we didn't get invited to someone's birthday party. We see that mom or dad lost their job. We see that you or someone you know is hurt. We see the bad things happening right now. What we don't see, God is working out a plan for our future. God sees everything. God knows everything. And when you're disappointed with the way things are going, it's important to remind yourself that God isn't finished yet. God is putting your puzzle together. God is still working. That's the one thing to remember today. Whatever happens, remember, God is still working. Jesus didn't turn out to be the king the people were expecting, but God was working on a much bigger plan, not just to rescue those people, but to rescue all people for all time. When we only see one piece of the puzzle. God can see the whole picture. Wow. And what a picture it is. I'll see you next time. <laughs>